Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller with us, Siouxland Oral Surgery. Gentlemen, nice to have you back on the show. Oh, thanks for having it's us. Good it's good to be a, here, Bill. It's a warmer day already. Sure you know, it is. <laughs> as famous as you guys are, and we're always talking about you guys, there's a lot of people out there, maybe new to the community, that don't know what Siouxland Oral Surgery does. Now, I want to talk about warmer things, but can you give a quick overview as to what you guys really do? Well, oral surgeons, our basic training starts with going to dental school where we learn how to do fillings and crowns and bridges and dentures and root canals and things like that. But then to get into the oral surgery world, we do another six years of training to learn the surgery aspects. So quintessentially, it's going to be a removal of multiple teeth. And when you do that for somebody who might need a denture later on, the bone has ragged edges on it. So now you've got to move the gum out of the way and smoothen out the bone. We call those alveoplasties. And some people have bone spurs in their mouth, just like some people have a bone spur on their shoulder or on their foot. Um, we end up grinding those off. And the nice thing about oral surgery is part of our training is the anesthesia training. So you can imagine trying to do some of that stuff awake. And it, in some aspects, it's kind of barbaric to do it awake. You know, we can do it asleep and... Or with don't moderate sedation. Don't and, be brave. Just, don't be brave. Just do it in a nice civilized kind of way. Um, wisdom teeth, of course, is a is a, a big part of our, our practice. Um, and uh, over the last 20 years, we've seen a lot of an increase in the placement of dental implants. So when you look at that, that is the main nuts and bolts of what oral surgeons do. But I think a lot of people don't know that a large part of our training, because it's hospital-based and it is another six years after um, dental schools, we do a lot of um, surgical work on the face. Uh, so you guys are really in the major leagues. Yeah, we've got one foot in medicine in the hospitals and one foot in, in dentistry and, and in the mouth. So I'm very good at putting my foot in the mouth all the time. So this works out really well for me. You know, well I've heard me. that about you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I really have. But, you know, we've talked to the implants and we've talked to wisdom teeth. We talked about being healthy when you get in. But you guys have treated some pretty spectacular people that needed help that uh, showed up from a field of dreams to our own field of dreams here in South Dakota. What would you tell us about those? We've been very fortunate um, with uh, some of our patient clientele and word of mouth and so forth. Uh, we've been able to treat uh, quite a few uh, retired Major League Baseball players, and we still get calls sometimes uh, from the folks back in New York who need a player taken care of. and. We're, we're not only honored to be able to do that, being so far away, but the fact that when we get a chance to actually speak to these uh, folks, they already know about our reputation, our attention to detail, and our bedside manners, which we really prize ourselves on. So, I mean, that's just, just another cool aspect of our job that we get to do to, to meet some of these uh, sports icons and, and treat them and be their oral surgeons of choice and that they would travel from the east and the west coast to come and, and see us. That's, that's always uh, something we're very proud of. And we like to let folks here right in our backyard, our neighbors, know, know that as well. So they know that, look, we're not, we're not just uh, talking the talk. We're, we're walking the walk, and we mean it. We're going to stand behind our work, and anything you need, we can gladly take care of. Doctors meeting doctors is what it's turned out to be in your case. But, you know, we talk about the young kids, too. Sure. They're, they're out there with the baseball, with all the other things that they're doing. They take some chances. And don't you agree that they, they often need help? And they, they probably will be injured in a practice rather than a ball game. Right. Uh, depending on the child and the sport, uh, a lot of the injuries that we see um, are to the face, of course, and a lot of them involve either broken jaws or broken noses or, you know, broken bones around the eye, but uh, a lot of them also involve uh, broken teeth or teeth that have been pushed out of position. So one of the things is a parent, and, you know, your kids have to have physical education and they like to play sports with their friends and in teams. Uh, safety first, you know, wear the helmet, wear the gear, and in our industry, uh, get the sports guard you know, to protect the mouth. It really does a really good job of protecting the dentition so that if they do get a, a whack at the wrong time, uh, they can preserve uh, the alignment of their teeth. And I think a lot of parents spend a lot of money on braces and all of that. And for the cost of a, a sports guard, 
uh, this makes sense. And they make some very, very, very good ones. And uh, it's it's proven that it helps. I mean, we do the sports cards for the Stampede. And uh, in a lot of these uh, uh, venues for the younger people, such as the Stampede, uh, they're mandated to have these things because they work. And they probably had some that didn't. Well, back in the day, you know, they didn't. I mean, you look at the old uh, NHL hockey players from Canada, they were all missing their front teeth for right. <laughs> for good reasons because they weren't wearing a protective honor. game. Yeah, well, that's how it was. Uh, but nowadays, thankfully, uh, the kids uh, usually don't have to do that if they're playing uh, organized sports. Now, if they're just playing out in the backyard um, or maybe, you know, some things in school or with some friends or maybe some not quite so regulated things, uh, this is where they're at risk. You know, we uh, get to talk a lot about a lot of things, but for the audience today, four to six years additional training makes a difference. You can do a lot of different things as far as, as the medical procedures that you've learned. Not everybody has that, and that's the reason Siouxland Oral Surgery is special. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we, 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 we take that uh, very seriously in our, our training. Um, really was a, a big part of not only our academic lives, but in helping to shape the, the doctors, surgeons that we've become. That extra four to six year training not only allows you to interpret and uh, manage uh, typical medical problems or uh, any of the challenges of anesthesia, but it also equips you to troubleshoot and make sure that nothing goes wrong along the way and be able to recognize uh, any problems or differences from the norm and address them immediately. And so we, we are very uh, uh, protective over our degree and we're very proud of the extra training. And um, all of our friends in the community know that and they, they appreciate the fact that we take what we do so seriously and uh, that is why we are very blessed with all the patients that are sent our way. And again, sent your way because of the training that you had, especially Absolutely. they have. You're a part of a family that does that. But if somebody doesn't know one of these that may be in a dental side of it, can they call the office? Can they get of in? Of course. How, how do they do that, and how quick could they get in? Well, they can call uh, 605-335-1080. That's our direct number. And, uh, again, people can get into our office relatively quickly, and it's not because we aren't busy. Anyone can attest to that. It's that, um, you know, we don't believe anyone should have to be in pain or be having chronic troubles that, you know, weigh heavily on folks. Just give us a call, come on in, and we'll get you scheduled, and come on in, and, and we'll get your problem taken care of. Unfortunately, it happens every spring. That's the reason you need to have Siouxland Oral Surgery, Dr. Dennis, Dr. Lou, ready to go. Gentlemen, thanks for visiting. Hopefully, I don't have to call you, but I know who to call. You're, you're very nice, but we hope not to see you in the office. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>